The charismatic fascist leader Jose Antonio Primo de Rivera was gone, shot in a Republican jail. Franco assumed his mantle. One could say Franco misrepresented Jose Antonio. He emphasized the inoffensive side, at least what was inoffensive to conservative people, and he silenced and buried anything that threatened them. Jose Antonio had argued for the revolutionary upheaval of Spain's old order, but now he was dead, his name was carved in the stomach of Burgos Cathedral. Every church in Spain carried this potent legend. Thus, the Falange revolution became absorbed within the symbolism of Spain's deepest reaction, the church. And Franco presided. Jose Antonio's memory was preserved but the radical aspirations of his brand of fascism were laid to rest. What Jose Antonio had predicted before the war came true. He had said that the Falange could contribute, without knowing it, to the restoration of a conservative bourgeois mediocrity of which, he commented, there is such a generous sample in Spain, and it would be adorned to add to the mockery with the choreographic figures of the blue shirts. se puso una careta de situación francamente fascista, como se decía entonces. The regime presented a mask which was basically fascist, but deep down this wasn't the case. I would describe it as an economically conservative, authoritarian government because order had to be imposed, but with a facade and certain details from totalitarian regimes to be found elsewhere in Europe. Franco drew on support from all aspects of the old Spain, but especially and naturally he found an enthusiastic champion in the church. The Republic had attacked it, both ideologically and physically. There was never any doubt as to where the church would stand now. It protested at Republican atrocities, but on the whole turned a blind eye to the same on the nationalist side. El Two months after the start of the war, the Bishop of Salamanca declared that the military rebellion was a crusade. It didn't seem to matter that it was being fought by Moorish Muslim troops, whose religious symbol was not the cross, but the sword. The church's endorsement, however, was reinforced by a letter from Spanish bishops to Catholics all over the world. In their words, the war was between the spiritual crusade in defense of law and order and the materialism of Russian Soviets. This letter was published two weeks after the rebels conquered the Basque country. Priests there, like other conservatives, served with the Basque Republican army. For them, the defense of the Catholic faith was far from the same thing as Franco's crusade. They had seen the wartime republic as a cause of freedom for Basque regionalism. They had appealed to the Pope, but although the Vatican wavered, the Pope eventually recognized the Franco regime in the summer of 1937. He later sent a nuncio to represent him in Burgos. Undoubtedly, many Spaniards believed that Franco's campaign was a holy task, and Rome's approval was a great reinforcement to the devout. 
una emoción grande para mí fue mi encuentro con el, mi hermano, el que, el que caería la guerra, el pequeño. Una muy emocionante experiencia para mí fue mi encuentro con mi hermano mayor, que fue luego matado en la frontera norte. Él me pidió que me viera para que me viera. Me bajó para, con un permiso para saludarme y me, me preguntó, mira Cristina, quería yo verte. Él me dijo, mira Cristina, quería verte porque quería preguntarte algo. Para los que mueren en la guerra, si luchamos para defender a Dios y España, como estoy haciendo, ¿vamos a ir al cielo como mártires, incluso si la iglesia no nos da un lugar oficial en el registro? Me aseguro, claro. Me dijo que estaba seguro de que lo harían si luchamos con ese espíritu en el nombre de Dios y de la patria. Entonces Dios les daría un lugar entre los mártires en el cielo. Los mártires en el cielo. The Spanish Church's endorsement, even sanctification of Franco's rebellion, was well rewarded. Religious education in state schools was again authorized. Church property was exempt from taxes. Civil marriage and divorce outlawed. Now Spain could properly be called National Catholic. Propaganda films carried the message to the faithful. This was how the rebel regime wanted or needed to be seen. Mientras los soldados del generalísimo abren las tierras de España al Mare Nostrum, este otro soldado, humilde y laborioso, labra los campos y da a su patria el pan nuestro de cada día. Fecundado con la sangre de tantos héroes, el suelo de España se cuaja de doradas espigas, de rubias mieses, Symbols of a patria with pan and justice, as the caudillo wants. Apart from the foreign legion and the Moors, the backbone of Franco's army were the Catholic peasants of Spain's agricultural heartland. In spite of their poverty-stricken standard of living, they chose to defend traditional values, the village and the church. They were frightened too by stories of forced collectivization in the Republican zone. With Franco, on the other hand, the price of their main crop, wheat, was guaranteed against ruinous fluctuation. Their income, however meager, was secure. In Castro Jerez, in Old Castile, the peasants had no doubt about supporting the right wing during the war, as they had done before it. During the Republic, we supported the right. We had to support them because they were under attack. During the Republic we were persecuted, but after we were free, we could go home any time. Before, we couldn't even go out. Florentino and Agapito were typical of a simple peasantry, reassured by the nationalist regime's maintenance of traditional values embodied in the church. Their faith was their dignity. I believe that with the church there was respect. We respected each other more. Without religion there could be no respect. That's what I think. Without the church, the priest, they just bury you like a dog. Other people are against religion, but I've always been for it. We joined Falange, and my brother was going to go to the front. But because he was my older brother, and he did more work than I did, my father said I should go in his place. In the end, he went off too. <laughs> 